Oh my gosh. We like, we daily vlog? Yeah, sometimes we put up like one video with a lot of days, but we still daily vlog. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back when the next vlog's up. my postpartum hair regrowth. Well, I don't know gonna make you more mad than your postpartum hair growth regrowth. What? I have two different socks on. Oh gosh. It is Friday. Hi. And we are going on a little adventure. Hi. I kind of got a weird fit going on, James. I take it. You look like you're about to go to the club. The button. You got a bunny. That's a turtle. <laughs> being cold in Chicago. We're bundled up. We're picking up a little like island thing. Like for like a piece of furniture. So I'm a part of, of a Facebook group that you in your community you post things that you want to give away and people post things that they're giving away and then like you respond if you want or not. It's called a buy nothing. And I know there's like free box and other things like that is what other places call it. I highly recommend it if you're looking for furniture or to donate things or just like feel like, I know it's like a nice community thing. And now that we have our townhouse and like know the layout and everything, we've been talking about furniture. And I've been eyeing this like, looking online for an island where we could have like basically like a coffee station and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I saw one on this free page, so that's where we are now. We're going to pick it up. But I highly recommend looking into seeing if your neighborhood has one. There, there could be some good finds. What? Goose! <laughs> James is watching this, Rachel. But yeah, this little baby likes the car to be going, so <laughs> hopefully they'll reply soon. We're out. Society. Three day weekend. He's reading the deals of the day. What do you think they're talking about? James. <laughs> Thank you. When you when you uh, shop with James, you have to hand him everything. Good. <laughs> Wow, look at that sky. Look at that skyline. Look at this car full of nonsense. We got this thing oh, here. Thing. Here's the thing. I'm using my phone, it's dark. You'll get a better look at it later. It's so cute though. Need some TLC on top, but hey, what doesn't? Alrighty, we're home. Peter is gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. We already ate some seaweed. I picked up something so strange. <laughs> plant-based baby bell. I'm gonna do a taste test. I guess they have coconut oil, but I thought they were gonna be like cashew-based, but it's mostly modified food starch. Peter, I'm doing a live taste test of these baby bells. Peter doesn't even like fairy cheese baby bells. They're green. I don't think you're gonna like this, to be honest, James. Let's see. <laughs> Smells like a baby bell. <sighs> Looks like a baby bell. It's not good. I can't put my finger on what this tastes like. It helps it has like a little bite to give it that cheesy flavor, like, it, but it, like the initial flavor kind of tastes like cardboard. Here comes Teddy. Did you bump your head? You try? No. <laughs> I'm going to eat these after like taking a few more bites. It's not as like the initial like this is so different 
I'm still gonna eat them. It totally has that like, if you've ever had like plant-based like shredded cheese, it has that vibe to it. Three out of 10. Two out of 10. You think you're gonna come up here and find them? And take all my cheese? Actually, maybe, maybe Evie will have them for, her, for herself. All right, I got the kids with me. About to make some samosas in the air fryer. Well, we put away all of our groceries. Boo, yeah. Dad got some treats. Boo, yeah. Rough and tough haul. We got garbanzo beans. We got great northern beans, which are the same thing, just different PR for them, I guess. Just kidding. We got date bars, crackers, some tortillas, some fruits like oranges and apples, chickpea. Greek style, we got pasta, we got more pasta, we got Irish liqueur, we got coconut flakes, we got more beans, sale on coffee, gingerbread coffee, some chicken bro bone broth. Over here we've got some garlic spread, some hummus dip, some chopped up veggies, oat milk, samosas, baby spinach, more veggies, kombucha. Did you have fun at the store? I think both of you guys did. I found two more bags, which is good because I was nervous that we were missing stuff. So we got a lot more pasta. Got some soy chorizo, some different seasoned nuts, almonds and cashews, strawberries, cashew yogurt, smoked paprika, firm tofu, all the good stuff. All right, here are the finished samosas from the air fryer. We're gonna chop them up for James. Get some sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah. Alrighty, we are making leftovers into dumpling soup. This was, was veggies that I didn't show the other night. Um, it's kind of like a ginger peanut sauce. I added in some white beans. This is gonna be like heating up. Gonna cover it with this hearty vegetable broth. It's just gonna be like one night's worth of dinner. So I'm not gonna use this whole thing. I'm just gonna cover it to make two nice big bowls of soup for Peter and I. Flashed a whole lot of soy sauce in there. Gonna add in some salt, pepper, garlic, and ginger. Jamesy's dumplings are gonna be fried. He does like this soup, but he's just a pot sticker kid. He's gonna go straight for them for sure. So I decided to prepare some on the side. Now this is starting to bubble. So I'm gonna throw our goiza on in. I did finally find vegetable. I have not been able to find plant-based goiza anywhere. So, very happy about that. Okay. Now there's some pot stickers, okay. some tomatoes, and some dumpling soup, Sarah made. Some ginormous bowl. Mm -hmm. You love tomatoes, huh? It's almost nine. We're, we're relaxing from our dinner. We're in the, the boys' room playing with plush. The Bob Cratchit Mickey Mouse. Got some Encanto music going on. Hey! <laughs> I got a Trader Joe's bourbon. So let's see how this goes. It's good. Tastes like bourbon. Should we be asleep? Yes. Should we be cleaning up toys? Yes. Should we be loving that dog? Yes. Instead, we're watching the intro of a very fast-paced podcast called Disney Vault Podcast. And I think we want to be friends with the bronze. I think we would be. I think so, too. I think we all talk in a similar cadence. Yeah. And we like the same stuff. Chicago. But Peter, Disney. they live in Indiana. <laughs> Did not know that. <laughs> but... And they live they live in a great town in Indiana. It has the best Chris Kennel market Which town? in the country. Oh. Carmel. We know people who live there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels makes me feel a little better. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I feel like so many people that we know have watched them and they've like now like we've like we really started to watch them and follow them and stuff and so like I feel like it's just meant to be. We just have to meet them now. So we should move to Florida in like four kids. weeks. We have to <sighs> And then maybe we'll run into them next time they're in Disney World. Yeah. Well, we kind of did the last time we were there. We just saw them through the window. <laughs> That's yeah. true. <laughs> Am I obsessed with the Disney Vacation Club theme park? Yes. Do I look like Lucius Malfoy? <laughs> my hair's wet. 
At least you didn't come out looking like a George Washington hair. True. Guys, tomorrow we are setting reset on <laughs> No Spend February, the routine. <laughs> now, I think we like needed to recoup after our few nights of awful sleep, don't you? Mm -hmm. Three day weekend. Yeah, I still, I feel like we're still recouping. Like, I feel like I feel better, um, but it'll be a low key weekend. It'll be nice. Plus, I have my prep for my procedure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all scattered about it because I'm a hungry person and I'm going to have to go a whole day with not eating. Just a, a liquid lot diet. Of, yeah, just a very limited diet. So. You're gonna, you're gonna be okay. I know, I know. <laughs> it's good to be it's home. It's good to be home. And sometime the night doesn't end because your two year old gets sick at one in the morning. So you have to give him a bath and change the sheets and change the pajamas and put out onward with a bowl. <laughs> so it's good to be home. <laughs> good morning, we're so glad you're here. Your daily vlogs, if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back. Um, I slept with James last night after he got sick. Um, he's got up, he's in good spirits, he's eating, he's drinking liquids, but Teddy and I are walking over to Jewel to grab some saltine crackers and life water and just a few of those little sticky bug things to keep James good. I'm almost 40 today, nice day. I don't know what our day holds because of James had getting sick at that one moment, but he slept until nine. So um, he got good sleep after getting sick. Maybe it's just a fluke, who knows? We shall see, but it's a beautiful day. It's a three day weekend, so we're gonna make the most of it. Oh goodness, <laughs> are you back? <laughs> this is the first time he is in this winter suit, it's still a little bit big. Oh, him so relaxed. <laughs> yeah, let me take my shoes off and I can help you. Love a good parallel park challenge. Going to pick up this desk um, a little further south than where we live. And I just didn't want to leave the car running with the hazards on it because these streets, these one way streets are a bit narrow. So it's not always easy for a car to get around a minivan if I leave it like next to the parked car. So I went around the block, found a spot, parallel parked it like a champ. I'm going to walk around the corner to get this desk. Got it. Just, you know, casually walking down. Yeah, hey, alleyway with the desk on my head. We wanted it because of this cool secondary lip. If I'm being honest, the table's actually getting thrown away. I'm gonna measure it, and we're gonna get like some nice oak tabletop that will like stain with some cherry stain, and then use these legs for this suspended second lip. Yeah, not the fanciest desk, but we like the simple look, but we love these legs. If you remember, this is actually like the desk we gave our nephew, but I love this secondary shelf. And it was what I thought. These are built in to the back legs. And the back legs are taller. So I'm actually just going to measure the dimensions of these. Brought the drill with. I'm going to detach the legs. I'm going to chuck the tabletops at the dumpster I see on the way back home. But that'll be a nice table in the bedroom for me to work at. To have a, a makeshift office in the townhome. Alrighty, our first stop. We are in trouble, guys. We want everything. We ventured into the neighborhood. We stopped at four sided. Your mom had this in a different thing. <laughs> yeah. I think we have it. It's the blue thing from Epcot. Yeah. All right. So we just left four sided, which is just the cutest shop ever. It's like a Chicago, 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 <laughs> Chicago sugar boo. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a great way of putting and, it. And uh, Sarah and I talked about like when we buy our our Chicago place because it, the intent is to kind of like Airbnb it, mm -hmm. that we could like artfully, tastefully do like all Chicago and stuff all over. Chicago. Yeah. Or we also talked about like doing like Chicago stuff in our Florida place and then Florida stuff in our Chicago place. Right. That'd be <laughs> like, I mean, if people don't know who we are, then right. like they go to come stay at our Airbnb and be like, why is right. this place all As long day? as it's an Airbnb and not just like our home. Yeah. Um, that could be something. Um, but I hope to go back there soon to do some Easter shopping before we go. And so hopefully like, it was kind of like busy and crowded. We have like a big stroller. So like, I, I just wasn't thinking to take enough cute clips in there, but so, so many cute things. But we're a block 
further south now and we're gonna go into a Sinai resale shop mm -hmm. just to see if there's anything good in there like bookshelf desk yeah we don't anything. need a ton of furniture but like I just started like envisioning new space and the boys are gonna have their own room so like we will at least for them we will need a few new pieces yeah um, so yeah, let's see what they got jewelry furniture housewares collectibles books antiques clothing electronics and design apparel There's a lot of good stuff, but there's a lot of areas we can't fit, so Peter and I are taking turns. Look who woke up. <laughs> he said, ooh, thrift shopping? I'm here for it. Nothing? We didn't find anything to to leave with. We did. We're gonna if we come back and it's still there, then we're gonna know we should get it. <laughs> oh, he's so lovey. Such a lover boy. Alright, James woke up, but Teddy fell asleep. And we did some shopping. We got some mugs that Sarah was actually just looking for on Amazon. That fit the new my kitchen. Last Amazon um search was matte black coffee mugs so we have a little drink station in the new yes. and we have a black we have black cabinets in yeah. in a black island in the new yeah, town home like been able to show it right and then we got a st patrick's day pillow and a step stool for the bathroom for the kids well first this kid and then that kid and we also got chips because we're starving vegan <laughs> cheese twists so here's our TJ Maxx haul. Here is the little cups with the little, what is this called? Stacker. Here's a little beautiful Celtic pillow. It's just like very unique and different. It's a um, shamrock. We're gonna keep it out right now. And here's a little stepping stool for the bathroom. 30 bucks. And I know what you're thinking. It's supposed to be a no spend month, but we've been keeping like a separate, um, like a separate tally or a separate budget for the new house. Um, so this is kind of all in that realm. The pillow is obviously seasonal and not necessary, but we were gonna get Girl Scout cookies, which like in our minds falls under like groceries. Um, and so they were selling them outside and we were like, well, if we get the pillow, we won't get the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> so that's our logic. Um, I, I said it a million times. We're just doing our best. We're being intentional. And there's so much more at TJ Maxx that we could have gotten and wanted. They have so much bubble bar. I don't know. I always think I'm saying that wrong. Jewelry is like the really beautiful Disney jewelry. I got to show you these boys. Oh my gosh. I missed it. They were like hold, they were like both kneeling, holding each other's hands. It was so stinking cute. What did you just find? But yeah, we we've been being intentional. I almost walked out of that place with a salad spinner. There's so many baskets. We want to get like a drying rack for dishes. We want to get organizational stuff for our fridge. It's the first time we're gonna have like a two-door fridge with an ice maker and like filtered water right in the fridge. Um, super, super excited about our new place. Um, and so I feel really good that that's all we um, walked out of there with. I love TJ Maxx. I, I think that's why we don't go to stores like that often because it would be bad news. Do you guys remember the days where we did like that huge purge i want to do the same thing again before we move because i know that we're gonna be really making this new townhouse home especially since the boys are gonna have their own rooms now we have a whole nother room to decorate we have three bathrooms a whole loft um we're gonna need patio furniture what did you find you got it so yeah there'll be plenty of shopping to come but for now, we'll rein it in as best as we can. We have a very happy kid. Do you notice he's half in PJs, half not clothed? With a puke bowl nearby. With a puke bowl nearby. Shortly after coming home, 
He was just sitting on the couch with Sarah, like being relaxed and didn't want to eat anything. We tried giving him some chips that we bought at TJ Maxx in the walk home. He wasn't eating it. He didn't even want ginger ale. He didn't want ginger ale. And then he just got sick again, which is a bummer because that was like almost 15 hours later. We thought it was like a one and done situation. But he's in good spirits. He was drinking like we had, we walked, you know, that's what Teddy and I went and got this morning body armor to keep him like electrolytes and hydrated. So he drank that, got some water. Um, so he's kind of just relaxing with Sarah. I'm hanging out with Teddy. He's bouncing over here. Onward is a new fave. It's like we watch it four times a day, but it's such a great movie and gives me Lord of the Rings vibes. So I love it in the music and the story. And it's just great. What is uh, our buddy Steve from Tampa's love language? And it's unapolog unapologetically ordering us food even when we know we tell him not to. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but this pot stickers are James's favorite food and he jumped off the couch the second he saw them, so. Wow. Maybe James. Maybe James will eat some pot stickers. Yeah. They're pretty simple and but it just was so recent. Oh. Yeah. Oh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. This is an egg. Yeah. Simple. X W. The big bell is reading you, huh? That's nice. Z. I'm editing, and all of a sudden that's Amore starts playing, <laughs> and Peter brings out pasta. Sarah has to go on a liquid diet in 45 minutes, yeah. so. I know what I got myself into marrying into an Italian family. <laughs> Gonna so eat when she, can have to have, when she has to be on a liquid diet for 24 hours. Yeah. Send it off with some pasta. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna do a quick sign off here. Everyone is winded down for the night. Peter's actually in with James right now. He stirred a bit, um, but he's already back asleep, so that's great. Um, we really just spent the rest of the night like chit-chatting about like basically what's gonna go where in the townhouse. It's a different type of layout. It's like an open concept where it's like it's a townhouse, so it's like longer and skinnier. So we're just trying to figure out where everything's gonna go, getting really excited about that, taking measurements, and just like making it feel real that it's happening. Um, so that's fun. I am hopeful tomorrow will be less eventful. Um, but yeah, kind of same chill expectations. Getting these, these boys back to, feeling better um and then i have my like procedure monday so <sighs> thanks for sticking with us even through um the boring stuff <laughs> it's good to be home oh i forgot before before the vlog ends we have to say a big congratulations to our friends katie and brian um who you've seen a million times um their dear daughter was born yesterday the 17th um and so we're so excited to meet her and for the boys to have a little friend down in florida so um if you follow katie vining um uh, go ahead and send her a congratulations message or comment on her video she just revealed like her nursery today on her youtube channel which i'll link below um so such such a big weekend for our our friends and um, just couldn't end the vlog without without saying that. So good night. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> <laughs>